if I stole this, she would notice. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course, uh, yeah. Well, how would I notice? <laughs> I mean, All right. Oh, wait. Monica has the same bag I used to. Yeah, have. I was like, yeah. I, I, I'll say, I, <laughs> what can I say? I found it at Louis Vuitton, but Louis Vuitton doesn't sell it anymore. <laughs> Anywho. Hey guys, what's up? It's Monica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a really good one because it is a, uh, well, more than one unboxing. We're gonna be unboxing this baby. Um, in addition to that, I take you guys along with me while I go to Toronto um, for some photo shoots. I also do some shopping and I unbox some goodies there as well. So we're gonna be unboxing some stuff from Valentino, Fendi, um, and I did get, uh, I got these jeans. I got another pair of um, Margella jeans. I'm gonna share them with you guys. I don't love them. Um, so it's just a little bit of everything. So I guess it's kind of like a vlog, but yes, it's gonna be really good. So can't wait to share everything. We're gonna do the trip first and then we're gonna unbox the goodies I got on the trip. Um, and then we're gonna unbox this new beauty from Fendi. <laughs> um, yeah, so, but before we jump into all of that, if this is your first time visiting my channel, Welcome. Um, my name is Monica and I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of Atlanta. And if you love fashion, fashion, and more fashion, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. This channel really focuses on fashion, but in addition to fashion, I do, you know, share my travels, my work, going to events, um, home decor, a little bit of everything. So if you love my vibe, make sure you subscribe. All right, now let's get into the video. It's really good. So like I said, we're gonna do the vlog first. So got kind of going to Toronto, shopping, all that fun stuff. It's really fun, photo shoots. And then um, we're gonna unbox the goodies I got there, and then we'll come back and unbox this. from Toronto so I had to fly into Toronto to do a little photo shoot with my mom for Dudley Stevens I'm wearing one of their yellow sweaters I love this of course I will link it for you guys because it's everything mom's in the background wearing hers say hi to my YouTube family hi. <laughs> hello <laughs> so we just did a Mother's Day shoot for Dudley Stevens and I'm going back home literally like tomorrow so we were I'm just here for a day to shoot the campaign it looks so amazing I love the it's the color for me and yeah, oh very beautiful isn't it gorgeous beautiful Yay. gorgeous yes it was my mama. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> thank you mommy Welcome. thanks for watching uh, <laughs> and then my sister is here in the background she doesn't want to be in and big sisters in the background Hello, what's up? What's up? Toronto. yes so yes we're just um, finishing up shooting Sister over here is photographer extraordinaire. Like this one, whatever she wants to do, she's amazing. Like I cannot wait till you guys see the images. Oh, can we have a moment for her kitchen? I'm in her kitchen right now. It's absolutely stunning. Um, but yes, like she's so good. A lot of my um, photos that I shoot in Toronto, she shoots them for me because she's excellent. She's not a photographer. So don't come asking about her because she'll just laugh. Um, but she's just one of those overachievers and good at everything. But yes, um, I can't wait for you guys to see the images because they are stunning. So we're just going to do one or two more shoots and then we're going to head into the city and I'll bring you guys along. So it's going to be a fun short trip. Um, yeah, yay! <laughs> All 
right, so we were gonna go downtown, but we figured we um, will stay closer to my sister's place. So we're at York, Yorkville. You no, sorry, Yorkdale. I used to work at Yorkdale, so you would think I would know, but we're at York. I don't know if you, you can't see the sign, but yes, we're just trying to find parking. It is a holiday weekend, mm -hmm. so this place is friggin' packed. It's kind of insane. I used to work here for many years, and I don't think I've ever seen the parking lot this packed, especially considering it's like, like, there's COVID still. <laughs> I know it's like everyone's still getting out and masking up, but I'm like, this is crazy. But yeah, look at this bag. That's my sister's bag. I love this bag. I wonder if I stole this, she would notice. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Well, how would I notice? Mm -hmm. I mean, All right. Oh, wait. Monica has the same bag I used to. Yeah, I'm like, like, yeah, I, I, I'll say, I, what can I say? I found it at Louis Vuitton, but Louis Vuitton doesn't sell it anymore. <laughs> Anywho, yes, um, let's see what we get into when we, when, actually we're going to go valet because nobody has time for this parking situation. But anywho, I'll bring you guys along. And I couldn't get my thing to work. Okay, so this is the look. Okay, so here I am being a bad vlogger. I totally did not vlog while I was shopping, um, but I did take some like little clips with my phone. I was just in the moment. When I, when I go shopping, I just get so excited sometimes that I just am so in the moment. Um, but we did do some damage. Um, I'm gonna share everything. I will actually do an unboxing in this video, so there will be an unboxing. And yeah, I kind of broke my two bag for a quarter. <laughs> um, but technically, when you guys see, it's like, okay, it'll make sense. But anywho, it was a fun shopping trip. I bumped into one of my girlfriends who's also a content creator, Tony, and I will um, insert like phone cl um, clips and I'll also tag her um, in, the dis in the description box. She's She covers like a lot of like fashion over 40, fitness and all that stuff amazing content so make sure you guys check her out but yeah it was super fun um, met up with one of my girlfriends um, as well so yeah we had a great time so now we're just going back to the house to relax order some food we were originally gonna go out for dinner but um everyone's just tired and yeah it's just and it's cold so mm -hmm. we're just gonna go home and relax and yeah it was fun okay so just got back to my sister's place from shopping we went to Halt Run Few, my old stopping, stomping grounds, and it's always nice to go back there. Everything's changed, it's so different. So um, we went to the Fendi store. Ugh. I saw the orange mini peekaboos, and I think I might have to get the orange one. I'm also going to do a breaking down the bag for the peekaboo, so it would be nice to have the mini size and just have the different sizes. I have two peekaboos, the east, west, I see you. And I also have, um, I think it's a small size in the um, Celeria leather, which is absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to do that video. That's gonna be amazing. Um, actually, now that I have you guys here, I would love to know what you guys want to know about the peekaboo. Um, and if you don't mind leaving comments um, below um, so I can make sure I address that when I'm creating the video. Um, absolutely amazing bag um worth every penny in my opinion but yeah i would love to know what you guys want to know in that video so as i prepare and think about how i want to go over the bag what i want to go over the bag um it would be very so anywho yeah so i went to we did fendi we went to valentino um we did chanel we didn't buy anything from chanel didn't buy anything from fendi but you know i got to see the bags up close and personal but i did do some damage from Valentino like Fendi Valentino is definitely one of those brands that I'm just really feeling right now um, but yeah I got I got three things from Valentino that I'm gonna share with you guys real quick and then I still have to order one other item um I think I no, I don't think I took any pictures or did video of the other item but I'll unbox these first and then I'll let you guys know what else I'm looking at but yes Let's start with the small bag first. And you know, I kind of did the conversion. Would it make more sense for me to buy it in the States? Um, 
after doing the conversion and everything, it was kind of like maybe like 11 or $10 difference. And I kind of really was just enjoying myself being with my sister shopping together. My sister got some stuff too. We actually pretty much got all the same stuff. <laughs> Literally got all the same stuff. So, but yes, the first thing I got, but yes, um, with the conversion and everything, it was kind of like 11 to $10 difference. So buying it here, you know, it was just for the fun of it and just having, just being in the moment. Anyway, first item I got, funny, and that's the thing, this, I wouldn't have gotten this item if it wasn't for my sister because it wasn't on my radar, um, but this cuff from Valentino, absolutely stunning. Like, I feel like I can dress this up, dress this down, and it's just really fun. I really like this. I don't have, I don't even have cuff. This is my first cuff, and I just actually really like the way it looks with the love bracelets and everything, and then I could also wear it on this arm on its own, but that was just a really fun piece. We all got this, even one of my girlfriends, so we all got this. This was such a great, fun, fun piece. So that was the first thing I got, and you just turn it around to take it off, so kind of put it on and then turn it and then it comes off. Luckily it doesn't come off too easily, so that's good. And then the little case or the little pillow for it, then it has its own case. So that's one item. And then here we have two things. So, oh, this, I've wanted a white belt forever. Um, so finding this was just like, OMG, look at this belt. I love it. It's not reversible, but it's the white on white for me. And then there's the slight hints of gold on the sides. I just think it's stunning. I love this. I love it. I, I didn't want, one of the, you know, the way they have the gold um, Vs, I didn't want that. So finding this white on white, it's just everything to me. But the only bummer, it's not reversible, which is fine because I just really wanted a white belt. Um, I can't remember how much it was, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. And I got it in a size 80. And then last but not least, this was also because of my sister. I didn't even know this bag existed. And technically it's a really small bag, so I wouldn't even count this as a bag for the season or one of the bags for my like, you know, two bag per, what's it called? Two bag per quota thing. So it's more like a like wallet on a chain. Let's put it that way, but how cute is she? It's so darn cute. And um, I'm getting matching shoes for this. Um, last year I got the Roman studs, the flat ones, and I love them. I wore them all spring, summer. I wore them to weddings. I wore them, you know, with a gown. Like I've worn them so much that I was like, you know what? Getting it in this beautiful yellow color would be a no brainer. So I got this little bitty to go with it. Um, what fits in it? I have no idea. I didn't try to put, put anything inside of it yet, but pretty much it's pretty small. So it's just going to be a, a credit card, real, a few credit cards. But you actually, I'd even look in the, on the inside. It's really cool because you've got two compartments. You've got this bigger compartment and this compartment here. So I can put cards. I can put keys in there. So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty, it's pretty cool. And then the strap is just a gold chain, gold links. Yes, this is what it looks like without all the packaging. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, the strap is pretty long. I can play around with it. Um, I think this is my second Valentino bag right now. I don't have a lot of Valentino bags, but yeah, this one is absolutely stunning. I love it. I'm gonna put it on real quick and then end this part of the vlog. All right, so this is what it looks like on the body. Looks really good. It sits very comfortably. I feel like I can wear this bag and then carry like another bag with it too, so I love it. So yes.
Jello jeans. Um, when I just, I guess, um, shopping for them, I thought they were going to be super like, like stark white. Um, cause that's what they look like on, what's it called on the website. But I don't know. They're not white at all. Actually, they're ivory. <laughs> they're definitely more of an ivory. They're not stark white. Um, putting them on again, I don't mind them per se. I don't know, because I'm like, I put them on again now, and I actually do like them. <laughs> I'm confused. What do you guys think? Should I keep them? I don't know. But, yeah, I, I love the denim option. And this pair did not go down in price. The denim option did. And to spend, because they're still like, they're $660. And I'm like, do I want to spend $660 on a pair of jeans that I'm not 100%? Like, the denim pair, I put them on and I knew for sure. Um, putting these back on, like I said, I, I kind of like them again now. So, I'm a little confused. I'll let it marinate for a few days, but they look great on the body, to be honest. Um, I don't know. What do y'all think? Hmm. So, wasn't the trip fun? Good, right? Okay, so... Yeah, and all those goodies that I got. So yes, now it is time to unbox. There's still actually something else that I got from Valentino. I'm not gonna unbox it. I actually recorded the unboxing, so either I just throw it in, or I'll just I'll just show you guys because I feel like uh, it's already been unboxed. So one moment, please, pl please. One moment, please, while I get the other item that I was supposed to get it from Valentino in Toronto, but they didn't have my size, so I ended up ordering it while I was there um, from my Teresa and just had it sent to my house and it was here waiting for me when I got back so I'm gonna share. How fabulous are these? So you guys know I have a pair of these already. I wore them um, on the trip to Toronto in that beautiful beige color um, but when I saw the yellow I was just like oh my god so cute I'm obsessed with yellow I'm obsessed with green and it's definitely a great combination of that green and yellow I also find this color to be extremely versatile it looks great with what I was wearing in Toronto I've worn it in a haul I think I wore it like two or three times in um, my last like H&M cost haul and these shoes just really really elevate whatever you pair them with um, I love a good flat, especially a dressy flat, because that means I can wear it to dressier events. I've worn my other pair to like, you know, an award ceremony, to a wedding. I've worn it to so many different places and it doesn't take away from your outfit. It actually um, complements and elevates your look. So I love these so much. They are perfect with this. How cute is it? It's just so cute. So, you know, I love it. I love, you know, I don't necessarily feel like you always have to match, but I love having the option and this is a great option. Yes, I know this bag doesn't really take much, but it's such a fashion piece. I love it. I love the shoes. They look amazing together. Now let's unbox what's in this bag. Okay. So I literally have not seen the bag itself. Um, it was another one of those bags that, you know, Derek, who is my Fendi essay, you know, messaged me and kind of, I, or maybe I messaged him. I can't remember. Anywho. <laughs> Long story short, we got this fabulous new bag. Um, can you guys guess what it is? Like, stop, take a pause and like guess and see. Um, I'm sure, for those of you that are following me on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, guys, it's odd by money. You need to follow me on Instagram. So you kind of get, you know, the instant while things are going on, kind of what's going on with me. Um, I do take you guys on shopping events more so I'm finding on Instagram. 
um, and just kind of, you know, you know, hopefully you guys can follow me. It's odd by money on Instagram as well as TikTok. So make sure you're checking it out. But yes, it's a bag. It is a small bag, but it's a bag and it's a good one. Okay, one second. I have to make sure I'm, I'm recording this on my phone too. So I have like Instagram, TikTok content. So give me one moment, please, while I double check and make sure that it's in frame. One moment, please. All right, so. I'm so excited about this bag. I'm, yeah, I'm so excited about it. Oh, so pretty. It is so pretty. Yay. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Isn't she gorgeous? It was the color for me. Like, he sent me the pictures of this bag. Um, you know, and I wasn't sure, um, I just knew I kind of wanted one because even though it was, it's their mini size of the peekaboo, I see you, which I see you, <laughs> I know I haven't said that in a minute, um, which you guys know I'm a fan of. I have the black East West version. I have the other peekaboo and the Celeria. So I'm a huge fan of the peekaboo. I personally love top handle bags. Like I have quite a few top handle bags so that, you know, it's just one of those silhouettes in my opinion that's just very classic very timeless, very ladylike. I love a good juxtaposition in an outfit. So I love like masculine, feminine. And I feel like when I have those more, you know, masculine looks, which is kind of like what I'm wearing today, which I'll share with you guys in a second. It's a really fun cost top and Banana Republic pants. But I feel like a bag like this always just elevates the look, right? So I'm always, I always gravitate to this silhouette. I have pretty much every silhouette you can think of, but I especially love a good top handle classic, definitely giving me Kelly vibes bag and I'm here for it. So when he originally sent me the picture, um, you know, he sent me quite a few different color options and the baby blue I really loved. Um, I did, I think I did a poll on, on TikTok and then most people were like between the orange and the pink. Um, I have two pink bags. So I was kind of like, I don't necessarily feel like, felt like I needed a pink bag, but the orange, I have my Fendi first, which has orange and reds and a whole bunch of different colors, but I do, this is my first all orange bag and I love it. Seeing it in Toronto was kind of like, cause I was, I kind of, you know, he sent me the pictures and everything. And I was just like, oh sure, whatever. But then going to Toronto, going to the store and actually seeing it in person, I was just like, yeah, I, I called him up immediately and I was just like, yeah, let's ring it in. So yeah. Got it. Finally got it. It's stunning. If you guessed the peekaboo that I was looking at, yes, you were right. Love the peekaboos in general. They come with their own little raincoat. So if you're caught in the rain, you have your little raincoat. Um, the lining seems to be all leather, which I love as well. And then the bag does have a strap, a longer strap. I know this color sold out when I went, um, when I went to the store a few days ago. They told me that um, the color had actually sold out. So I'm very happy we ended up getting it. The clip is just an easy clip on, like, so it just attaches pretty easily. You have the silver hardware, the two pockets. So basically you have all the features of the classic um, peekaboo, but just in a smaller size. So price point, it was $37.50. Um, you know, smaller bags are always a little bit more expensive. And I used to wonder why for the longest time. Um, and then I remember just having product knowledge and it's really the breakdown and creating a bag this small and making it as intricate is a lot harder than a bigger bag. And that's why smaller bags technically are more expensive because the bigger one is probably not that much more. I think it's probably about four or $500 more. So you have to keep that in mind in terms of smaller bags. That is the reason why they're, they're priced so high because it's just harder to put together something that is so small. Um, yeah, but it's a great bag, it's got feet. Of course, I will break the bag down. Um, I think the next breaking down the bag video will be the Fendi Peekaboo, but I'm thinking I might actually do one for the, um, the ICU, which is this one, and the East West that I have, and then I'll do a different one for the Celeria because the leathers are so different, the silhouette is very different. Um, I love this smooth finish. Even with my black one, it still looks absolutely new and beautiful. I'm actually gonna bring the black one over to give you guys a quick look and then we're gonna end the video because I don't want it to be too long. I have a feeling that it might be too long. <laughs>
so yeah so this is the size difference so this is still good and small and this is my um, East West IC which I love so both beautiful bags this one has the gold hardware this one has the silver hardware I kind of love that you know I just love everything about it I just think it's an absolutely stunning bag and I'm so happy that I got it I cannot wait to style this 101 different ways so stay tuned all right guys there you have it that was my vlog um, unboxing all that good stuff thank you so much for watching if you're not yet following me on Instagram guys make sure you follow me it's on by Monty on Instagram as well as TikTok um, and then don't forget to check out my website on by for tons of style inspo shopping links for pretty much everything including the YouTube videos um, for home beauty pretty much everything everything's there so just check it out have fun make sure you check out the what would Monty wear page because that serves as great style inspiration for pretty much whatever occasion so what you would wear to brunch lunch tea name it it's there so check it out have fun with it like I said thank you so much for watching can't wait to read your comments about this bag and what you guys think and all the other goodies I picked up from Valentino let's get the conversation going thank you so much for watching and until next time bye guys oh almost forgot my outfit I'm gonna share my outfit real quick and then we'll end the video. Okay, real quick, this is my outfit. I'm wearing this shirt from Cost. It is an oversized linen shirt, I love it. I kinda tucked it in, it's really long and billowy and I actually got a size up because I really wanted it to be full. So I crisscross it on the inside to tuck it in. And then I tucked it into these pants from Banana Republic. I love these pants. You guys have seen these pants. I love them. They're so comfortable and I love how high the rise is. And then for shoes, I'm just wearing my Hermes orange slides. I love the two-tone. Really fun. Oh, I didn't forget lipstick this time around. This is um, Trini London. Um, the brand sent it to me. It is like one of those lip to cheek. Um, the color is Dido. Dido. I think that's what it says. I should be wearing my glasses. Um, but yeah, I love this really pink, girly, pretty color. Um, and I did it on my lip and on my cheek. And then I also use this NARS pencil to line my lips. Let's see if we can, um, it, oh gosh, I can't see right now. I'm not wearing my glasses. I should be. But yes, I will link everything in the description box. And this is my look. Yay. All right. So that was my look. Love the bag. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.